Hello and welcome. My name is Sunshine, the project manager, Sunshine Resources. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make liquid soap with just two materials. And these are vegetable oil and caustic potash. In our previous videos, we have produced liquid soap using about eight or nine items such as nitrosol, caustic soda, soda ash, STPP, SLS, sulfonic acid, foaming booster, color and perfume. Now to watch a video on how to make liquid soap using these items listed above, I've dropped the link in the description box below this video. Go to that link and click on it to watch the video. But in this particular video you're watching right now, we will be producing liquid soap with just two major materials and these are any kind of vegetable oil and caustic potash. Now before we go into the production proper, let me try to explain some basic concept about soap making using vegetable oils and bases. In chemistry, bases are substances like sodium hydroxide with a chemical formula NaOH which is also called caustic soda. Now another base I would like to mention here is potassium hydroxide with a chemical formula KOH which is also called caustic potash. Now let's observe these reactions and their product. When you react vegetable oil and caustic soda, that is sodium hydroxide, you will get a hard soap. Now let's take note of that. I said when you react vegetable oil or when you combine vegetable oil and caustic soda, that is sodium hydroxide, you will get a very hard soap. So this is what we do when we produce either bar soap or toilet soap. We simply add vegetable oil to caustic soda, that is sodium hydroxide. I have also dropped a link in the description box below this video that will show you a video on how to make bar soap using vegetable oil and caustic soda. But when you add vegetable oil to caustic potash, that is potassium hydroxide, you will get liquid soap. Now this is the basic characteristic behavior of caustic potash, that is potassium hydroxide and vegetable oil. The reaction between these two chemicals give rise to liquid soap, whereas when you treat or when you react or when you combine vegetable oil with caustic soda, that is sodium hydroxide, you will get hard soap. Now let me also say here that caustic potash and caustic soda are family of the same compound. They are called bases. The lessons we have learned from this so far is that we can produce liquid soap by combining vegetable oil with caustic potash. And you can produce solid soap by combining vegetable oil and caustic soda. Now having said this, the next thing we will do is to find out the quantity of materials we are going to use. That is the quantity of materials we're going to be using for our production. In this preparation, we're going to be using 900 ml by volume, 900 ml by volume of palm kernel oil, which is about 830 gram. 900 ml by volume of palm kernel oil, PKO, which is about 830 gram by weight is what we're going to use. So now we're going to use the lye calculator to determine the amount of caustic potash and the volume of water required to dissolve the caustic potash. All right, just like I said earlier, in this preparation, we'll be using 830 gram of palm kernel oil. That is about 900 ml. Now, the next thing we're going to do now is to determine the quantity of caustic potash required to react with the 830 gram of palm kernel oil. And that is what we're going to use the lie calculator to determine right now. Now type into your web browser thesage.com. Now click on calculators. Now click on lie calculator. Okay, now we are on to the interface of the lie calculator. We are going to make entries into the field right now. So recipe title, you can write whatever you want, but for me, this is sunshine soap. 
created by Sunshine. Now, unit of measurement, I'm going to select gram. I'll select gram. I'm going to use gram. Okay. Now, light type, you can see that by default, sodium hydroxide is selected here. But in this reaction, in this preparation, we are not using sodium hydroxide. This is a point of emphasis. We are using potassium hydroxide because we want to make liquid soap. I told you earlier that sodium hydroxide will give us a hard soap. If you use sodium hydroxide, it will, you get a hard soap. But with potassium hydroxide, you get liquid soap. So let's select potassium hydroxide. Let's go down to liquid of choice. Liquid of choice, water. Just type in to the field water. Now ignore fillers, fragrance and notes. Let's go down to vegetable oil. Now let's look for the vegetable oil we're using here. That is palm kernel oil. Let's look for palm kernel oil. Now this is palm kernel oil. So there is a little field or a little box that comes before the palm kernel oil. So here we're going to write in the quantity of palm kernel oil we're going to use in grams. And just like I said earlier, we're using 830 grams. So I'll just type into the box 830. I've already selected my metric unit, which is gram. So I'm going to type into the box 830. And when I do that, I will go down and then click on calculate lie. Now the lie calculator is saying that we should pick a range between 208 milliliters to 311 milliliters of liquid. That is water. So we're going to pick between 208 milliliters of water and 311 milliliters. So I think um, I'm going to pick 300 ml of water. I'm going to pick 300 ml of water. That settles the water. So in this production, in this preparation, we're going to use 300 ml of water. I got that from the light calculator because the light calculator gave me a range. I should pick between 208 milliliters and 311 milliliters of water. Any figure between this range is ideal for my production. So I'm going to take 300 ml of water. Now let's go to the potassium hydroxide. Now what quantity are we going to use? Now still trying to extract information from the light calculator. Let's look at this column that says percentage excess fat. And then we also go to the next column, which is lie amount in grams. First, let's look at the percentage excess fat. Now, these rows ranging from zero to four, according to what the lie calculator is telling me, is not ideal, okay? It's saying that from percentage excess fat, zero percent to four percent excess fat range. If I want to use any of those rules, I should do that with caution. And the my calculator is not even recommending me to choose values from percentage excess fat from zero to four. The my calculator is advising me to pick um, percentage excess fat between five and 10, which is the green portion. The red portion is not recommended. That's what the light calculator is telling me so i should pick between five percentage excess fat between five and ten is ideal that is the green portion so i'm going to pick five and if i pick five it means that i'm going to use 187.27 gram of my potassium hydroxide okay i'm going to use 187.27 gram of potassium hydroxide. So that assignment has been concluded. Now the light calculator has told me to choose any value between 208 milliliters of water to 311 milliliters of water. So I'm going to choose 300 ml of water for my preparation. Coming to the potassium hydroxide, I have decided to pick 187.25 gram of potassium hydroxide. That completes the assignment of light calculator. But before we go into the main production process proper, let's go through some safety precautions you will take as you do this preparation. Avoid direct contact of chemicals with the skin or eyes. Keep all chemicals out of reach of children and do not taste any chemical. 
Now let's establish the quantity of materials required to produce 2 liters of liquid soap. Palm kernel oil, also known as PKO, 830 gram, which is also 900 ml. Potassium hydroxide, 187.27 gram. Color, a pinch, and perfume, 10 ml. Now let me show you these materials one by one and then we go into the mixing properly. Now this is the palm kernel oil, this is caustic potash, this is the perfume we're going to use and this is the color we're going to use. Now according to our light calculator we're going to measure 187.27 gram of potassium hydroxide. It's required to react completely with the 830 gram of palm kernel oil. Now measure 300 ml of water and then we add the 187.27 gram of potassium hydroxide to it. We will dissolve the potassium hydroxide in 300 ml of water. Now measure a small quantity of your palm kernel oil into a container and add your color to it. Make sure the color is completely dissolved in the small quantity of oil before you can add more oil to it. Now you can add more oil to the content and stir it. Now stir the mixture properly. Now you can add your caustic potash solution to the oil. Stir the solution very well.
And now, ladies and gentlemen, your liquid soap is ready. But before you can use it, you have to let it stand for about 48 hours before use. Make sure you let it stand for about 48 hours before it can be used. So, thank you very much for watching and God bless you. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can visit our website on www.sunshineresources.org.ng. You can visit our YouTube channel on youtube.com forward slash c forward slash sunshine resources SRTV. You can follow us on our Facebook page on Sunshine Resources. Thank you very much for watching and God bless you.